sister. So I got used to her sewing, and she was very gifted in the sense that if I show her a pattern, and then, you know, like, move on, I have my family. If I show her a pattern, she just look at that pattern. She knows exactly. Wow. She's so gifted. But I think none of us daughters uh, follow the mummy. And, uh, and she does free cutting. And so exactly. She doesn't take measurements. She doesn't use uh, measuring tape. Wow. She just look at the people. She knows exactly. And it's just a fit. Yeah, she's... Oh, and she's so mama kutu. Yes, and I was so used to her because she lives yes. with me. I was so used to her. Imagine, I grew up. I've never bought anything. I've never looked around for somebody mm. to sew my clothes. From my young days to my high school days yeah. to my one hello days, even though the one hello days were so short because I got married early. And my Wakawati days. I've never looked out for a tailor. And not only that, she cooks. She cooks and she bakes. Uh, she she was, does everything. She does everything. Yeah. Because when she was in the village, uh, she grew up in the, um, the family of Tui Wadiwadi, like the Tui right. for the yes. Koro that she's from. And they had this uh, Reverend Davis, who is a missionary uh, oh, for, yeah, for the church. I mean, for, yeah, yes. for Christianity. And they came and they live in Lakemba. And my, my mom was taken and it's actually stayed with them. Wow. She does apple tart, she, do, she does uh, pineapple turnover, she crochet, she crochet everything, uh, Auntie Baby, she crochet bed sheets, My. pillowcase. Hardly anything. we see that now. No, Hardly. she does free crochet and all the colors, she can even, she does a design, even for the, like, like I say, like mm -hmm. for that, eh? the tissue box holder. And, and she soak it on the starch and make things stand. Oh, wow. She crocheted. A swans, oh, she's so gifted, my mother. Very gifted. So I grew up not looking out for somebody mm -hmm. to sew my clothes. I've never gone out to the restaurant. She cooks the best, and my husband can be a testament to that. She cooks the best. I, we've never mm -hmm. gone. Not until my mom died that I went to the restaurant. Then I started looking for somebody to sew my clothes. Mm -hmm. So when my dad passed away, yeah. that was our means of survival. Uh, my mom looked after us on her own. Uh, my two elder siblings, one was working for Westpac, one was uh, with VSP and they moved on with their lives. But it was me and my other brother that was with my mom. And, uh, and our only means was her sewing. She sews. Whoever comes in, she sews. She'll sew in the middle of the night, early hours of the morning. She loved the job. Yeah. yeah. She loved her job. And that money helped us. Yeah, really helped us. And I still remember the days when uh, she, because she's diabetic. Mm. And imagine, after having her leg amputated, my mom is still sore. So come the days when I tell her, you know, stop sewing, you don't need to, uh, we are good. But she loves, she loves sewing. Why I'm sharing this, because when you, mm. I mean, when you learn that, uh, that talent, mm. it, it doesn't have any timeline. Mm. Because you saw to get money in, and people are always looking for tailor. Yes. And your take would be, most places like to sew a dress is about $20, yes. and a skirt is about $15. Mm -hmm. So you can even, you know, bring it down to $10, mm -hmm. and you make your money. So you pull more customers the to more. your end, yes. you know? And uh, you get that, mm -hmm. and money come in. And then when you're tired, so if you're up to it, then you overlook yourself. Like my mother, she can step in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. I got her electrical sewing machine, but one thing about my mom, no matter what sewing machine I brought her, Auntie Peggy, she used to have a singer, singer, that brand, S-I-N-G-E-R, oh yeah, the little pedal one. Well, yes, I'm not in my room, I'm not talking to you, but you know, everything, it's like, uh, it's like a, yeah, a walking skeleton. Only the thing is moving, and this thing is moving, the food, eh? the, yeah, the machine food. And only then, those two are working. Now, bottom, uh, my brother had to do, um, you know, a small timber to hold. But yet, she's got option for the sewing machine, but she always goes for this one here. Yeah. And then like, I tell her, you, yeah. and it's like, why can't you use that one there? I said, I know, I just like my old machine. <laughs> and she loves the old machine. I guess, you know, she gets so attached yes, to it. Yes. And I had a friend from Taiwan. We worked together for um, the airline for about, yeah. The parents came here for, for Pathco. They used to work for Pathco and that she was from Taiwan. So they've lived here for the last uh, 10 years. And when she moved back, the parents passed away. When she has to move back, 
she left everything with me and one of it was uh, another two sewing machine which I gave to my so it's like the one I bought and the two sewing machine but my mother she, she still, still is the singer <laughs> and sewing machine and you know just what we are sharing this morning mm. uh, you, you will never run out because you have acquired the talent and the skills you can sew at any time and you become your own boss mm. Uh, I used to see my mother, she does that. She will tell me, okay, what do we, what can I contribute, uh, you know, to? Um, that's what, you know, when I was still single. And I said, okay, we need to pay this, we need to pay that, we need to pay that. And so my brother, even though he has moved out of the house, he'll give a little bit of money to help us. And, uh, and she said, okay, I can sell this, that, and that. And she'll stay up the night. Or she'll work for two days, clear our bill. And then she relax the remaining days. So you become your own boss. Mm. Uh, other than going to a garment factory, you say, ah, hurry up, mm. hurry up, cut, right? Mm. So, you know, like those kind of things. But you become your own boss and you determine the finances coming in. And even for baking, yes. like for us here, mm. um, I have Auntie Lisa who works with us and she's got her daughter, Tali, and Tali bakes. So even Auntie Lisa bake, and I used to tell them, you know, we have a team that is catering every day, every day, every week. Can mm. be a roster? And I said, put up your price list. If you know you're good in uh, making sandwiches, put it up. Yes, sir. Tell the team that yes. you can make nice yes. sandwiches. You market yourself. Yes, yes, That's yes, one yes. thing I say about it. Okay. Yes. Do do money. Do 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 and when somebody else sells, you buy all of that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know. I, I see that we always uh, sell ourselves short, mm. especially for it, okay? Yes. No, be proud of yourself that exactly. you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Don't compare yourself with anybody else. Mm. You are just uniquely yourself. And when I used to you know, tell the staff, mm. these ladies in the admin office, at first they were taken back and said, you know, and said, look, don't smile, write down, show your sandwich, how much? If you bake, how much? Mm. Put it up on the notice board in the, yes. and then tell them, when you uh, prosper for next week, I make pies. I can make very nice tasty sandwiches. All you need to do is order. Mm. And, and I said, when you get the money, this is what I used to tell them, when you get the money for this order, don't take it home. If you're a Christian, do the tithe of that money mm. that you receive and leave it in the staff club. Don't take it home because we have a staff club. Leave that money there yes. because you build up your, your saving. And now I'm ordering from Auntie Louise's daughter, oh, Tali. She bakes. Really nice. Yeah, she does uh, custard um, tarts. And uh, very nice and delicious, moist uh, chocolate cake. But my best is the uh, yogurt pie. I like that. You know, she does the yogurt. Yes, uh, yes. Oh, that is so beautiful. And I ordered some too last week. And when I met her, uh, you know, I met her uh, because she came to the birthday uh, for my uh, grandson and my granddaughter's birthday. And I said, you know, this is really good. You're making money out of it, you yes, know? Yes. So those are money coming in for baking you and motivate sewing. motivate her eh? yes. in this age. Eh? Yes. Itu natali di, but yeah. kita bakado, bakado mandu hati macam nak bulu-bulu tak? Yeah, I, I, no, I think we look, we, I don't know, uh, we are not confident. It's like we look down on ourselves. Mm. It's like we never uh, yes. believe yes. that we can make it. But you see the end, they sell roti everywhere. Yeah, eh? no, persistent. Eh? But you know what? Uh -uh. I worked in this company that you know it's multi-ethnic. Mm. I used to see this Indian boss mm. who is the general manager. Mm. I mean, he's already like one of the highest earner. Mm. I don't usually go to our cafeteria at the hangar, but when I do, boy, you have all of us buying our food, yes. sitting there, and he's not ashamed of it. He bring his uh, roti parcel. In the Fiji times? Yeah, in the Fiji times. Yeah. And right where the roti is, that's when you have the, the white uh, wrapper. Yeah. I think that is all Fiji times. And she, you know, he will mm. unwrap his roti. And we are all eating the food like yes. we just bought from there. So the money going there. Yeah. And we are much, much lower in like earning and category, yeah. the stuff category. And it's already Jim with his roti pasta mm. eating there. And I'm looking, okay, you know? And Gelly will make him a to cake on a pair. Nani mamin di nota na to be rotoya. Mm. So it's like, there are days when you don't have money yeah. and uh, when you get your pay, like you want to say, yes. you get your pay today, you ask for mm -mm. dinner again the dinner. next day. Yeah. Because we live from payday to payday. Yes. Yeah. And I think we need to change, change the mentality. That, yeah. Yeah. Now, I think now, we so surround and we will I know it's hard to buy bulk, yeah, but, but it might be you paying rent and all yeah. that. But start with 4 kg. Yeah. We have some some tak. Even the, you know, the blue omo before the... Yeah, the... Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Indian they don't use they don't buy eggshell a lot. They use the they pour the boiled water in the container ice cream with that omo and leave it. But just some cocoa, then you make it as a bar. Then you use it for washing oh. dish. I buy Axion, that's another cheaper version for me. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's... You, how does it... Uh, like, no, eh. no, like you put the Omo in the container yeah. ice cream, and then you put the hot water. So you mix it, mix it, so not it's a thick paste. Then you leave it for a while, just a hot one. Then you just cut it, and you keep it for your <laughs> I mean, those are the tips that we yeah. need, see? It those was the better one, one dollar fifty, but I don't know, might be two dollar no, now. What? Kona Omo, Kuka... Yeah, blue, the yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you just use it. Uh, that's what they, I mean, they are blessed to have that. Can you say, can well, you my TV teams, <laughs> Omo will work well for us. Axion is too expensive. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. Yeah. Well, you should share all these tips because I learned the, uh, you know, the bottle cap yes, one. Yeah. I don't put as much oil when I yeah. do my onions, but when I learned that, mm. I went to it. Yeah. And it really lasts. Yes. Even uh, my daughter, Fatima. That's she always tell me, Mom, dinner is an onion, eh? Me brown an onion. And then we can to the mato chuna tabala la in your way. We have to buy the, the big gallon, oil. Yeah, I, 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 and they sell refill also. Yes. Like that gallon, like yeah. a refill. Yeah. Yeah. But can to do work. You can do refill at shop and save if you yes, do yeah, refill. Shop and save, do refill. Yes. And at one stage, I bought the big gallon. The young one? Yes. Oh, the yellow yeah. one is. Yeah, they last for months. Yes. Yes. And I get the pump, two and a pump, and the car soon. We still have a shop. And then to go fill the kerosene or the benzene, mm. you have to do the pump. And you can get the pump too from shopping seed. So I had that gallon running for a very long mm. time. It's a yellow gallon. And when you get that, it lasts you for months. Yes. And then what I do out of that pump, I pump it into the empty, you yes. know, yeah, yeah. as I empty the mm -hmm. gallon, I pump yeah. and then we use it. And that. that's the Indian belief too, like you have a blessing on it and on Ravambuta, like to have a refill in a bottle. And you put one thing on top of it, one thing on the other side, and we can honor blessing do yali. That's the belief. We can honor what we want. Can you say gallon or two? What you get back to you for us? Well, but thank you for these tips. Yeah, these are good living uh, tips uh, that we can save money. And look what I said. Maybe you say to yourself, I have enough money that I can buy lots of gallons of oil. Uh, we do know that, but if you can live like that mm. and save that kind of money that you're using, that same finances can mm. either go towards your savings that you can top it up, or go towards something mm. that you're saving towards, uh, like buying a car or buying a house. Yes. It's something else, like you need for people to be able to uh, buy a property and you're looking for a job yeah. for you to be able to do that. But you can save that money. You can save the and for those of you that are chilling mm. in outside Fiji, um, the takeout food are very, very cheap, very cheap, you know, like it's so attractive, mm. like it's tempting uh, because it's so cheap. And then in your mind, you said, okay, I'm earning because you have the money and mm. you're tempted to, you know, to buy takeout. Yes, yeah. But if you can control yourself to save that, save like the, the urge to buy, yeah, yes. the urge is still there. When you urge to buy, then you say, okay. Agree with your family. Talk about it with your wife. Or talk about it with your children. To say, okay, you know, we used to um, go out for two, two days or three days in a week or five days. Now we will reduce it to two days. If you have been going for three days, reduce it to, to two or even to one. When you reduce the days and then you tell them the same money that we used to go and use this money, we're going to put it aside and get a money box. I brought actually this money box to share with us. Uh, this is um, Lekila, my granddaughter, who is the youngest granddaughter of mine. And um, she's turning three today. We went together to go and buy some party uh, flavors for, uh, at the dollar shop. Mm. We went to the dollar shop uh, to go and get little things to put in the party flavors. So I went with her mother and her and her brother. <laughs> we were busy looking for the party flavors. This is this kid. She's so matured. She came running with this. She said, Nana, I need to save my money. Nana, my money. I need to save my money. And I look at her, I look at the mother, and I said, okay, like what? I like to put the money here, oh. and I save it. And you're talking about a you know, two-year-old, two year and she's just turned three now, uh, today. And that's why I brought this. You know, like that thinking. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe because uh, they're not mm -hmm. nice, so uh, they always tell me at home, I miss Patel. Uh, because I'm like, now hearing the way Indians think and do things, I think I'm more Indian than Fijian. 
And, uh, and it's, it's sort of like a clash because I'm so Indian thinking. I mean, what do you say it's Indian thinking? What do you say it's Indian living? Well, because it's a display of life. Eh? I believe yeah. it's the mama gave. You have to learn to say no. Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. I think that's why. And uh, I know there's somebody who comes from the village and comes from a very, very big family, extended family, live, you know. Yes. But one thing I'm blessed with, even though he grew up from, you know, the big, huge family, um, he respected the way that I think. Like, it doesn't create any... Mm. Any argument or any differences at all? You know, for him to say, oh, no, you are, you know, too Indianish. Mm. Can you get out of my house? Like, he doesn't say those things. You know, he's sort of like, uh, yeah, blend in and accept the way that I live. Because that was the only way I know. I didn't know about that. I, I was introduced to something new when I married him. You know, when you have people getting off the wharf here in Suva, and then you get a phone call. Ah, kita sayo Iya, nanito Oi. You know that kind? So I got introduced to that. And, uh, or you have uh, people in the house, like you have to find a place to step your foot. Mm. So I was glad because that kind of exposure helped me to understand. Mm. And uh, yeah, I love my husband's family and they know they're listening. I love you people. And, um, and they, uh, they understand me too, because like for me, it's like a yes, a yes, and a no, and a no. If I don't like anything, I just say it the way it is. It's very unusual mm. for it okay though, because you don't speak up. Especially so when your husband, if you have the thing left off, your husband is number eight, like in number eight. So number eight down, you can speak to number up, you know, you can speak to all the number. Number seven, number six, Oh, number one, you don't even, uh, like, you look down. You don't even, and that's it, the, okay. The yeah, yeah, you can speak up, you know, like you, yeah. no yeah. to kind of thing, yeah? But uh, because I grew up that way, I never knew that kind, because, like, my father, and that's one thing that I'm, I'm really appreciative about my dad, and, and even at times, I'm still wondering, because he grew up in the village, my, my dad, the two siblings, they were born in the village before they moved to Lotoka, but, I mean, have this piece of land, um, had a farm, and opened a shop. He came from the village, and he was just a supervisor of the roadworks before. They used to call them PWD, Public Works Department, and he was a supervisor there. And just thinking of his exposure, mm -hmm. like from the village, for him to come and teach us this teaching, which I never know where he got it from. And uh, even when he said, he allows all of us to speak up. Like, there was never a time that I can speak to my eldest brother. And if he's, you know, like if he doesn't like, if I don't like anything, he said, oh, I don't like the way you do things. Like we talk to each other like that. So imagine from that exposure and you come to a family that you can't speak up. It's like, uh, and I know you're listening this morning. Some of you said, Oh, I hear that a lot of times. Do we have? Because we have a lot of And I don't mind. Like, maybe it's intended to make you feel the hurt. I don't feel hurt because, I mean, it's like, I'm going to wake up. I have my kangos, but I know them by name. I don't uh, live uh, closely with them to go and ask mm. or to go to the songos. I don't. I know them, but I don't. And if there is something that I know I can contribute, then I will go. I don't just go unnecessarily for the sake of going or because they are my mamas or my, you know, tatas. I, I don't do that. But if I can help, I can. And if I meet them, that's fine. Mm. But I don't go out looking. And then you marry to a family that does all that. And, and one thing that I'm really, really grateful for, that with all that, uh, like my house is always open. And my husband tend to see the life that I was living, that is, it was benefiting our family. Yeah. We, we were the very first one in his family to buy a car. You know? And uh, we owned the first car. And then the other brothers who were having better position than him, earning more money, then they start buying their car. We were the first one to build our house and buy our house. Then the other brothers begin to do the same. And uh, like we were the, you know, like... And to one time, we were only three cars because we are having a hired car, mm. we're having a taxi, and we have our own car. Yes, yes. And, uh, and he was liking the way, you know, that the way I was living and the kind of exposure mm. that I had, 
that is benefiting our family. And we used to be at Lot 27 TV Road in Kenoya. And even then, my mom was staying at home and his mom was staying at home. So my mom is quite good with books. And I opened my sitting room. I look for the, they have the, this barricaded uh, windows. So I took down the thing inside, the louvers, like to be open on the yeah, door. And I have my sitting room. So one half, I put the lounge area there. The other half, I got the shelving. And I turned it into a, a shop. shop. So I that's bought in the, this. That's in the sitting room. In the sitting room. And it became the, and then we call the shop, uh, we named the shop to his house in the village, Matandolo. And we, our shop was Matandolo shop. And our taxi, the hired car, and the taxi was Matandolo taxi. Mm -hmm. So I did a card, and I was making business. But we were working in, uh, at the airline. I mean, we were, both of us mm -hmm. were working in the airline then. Mm -hmm. We were working, but I was making my money here. And uh, my mother looked after the books. And my mother-in-law did the feeling of kerosene and all those kind of things. And I have a sister-in-law, Auntie Valili. You may be listening to the program this morning. I pay her to come home. So I pay her every week just to come and be with my mom yes, to supervise them and then go back home yes, when sir. I come back in the afternoon. And that's how we were leaving. The way I was going, I was going that way. Like, this is my to go. Yeah, but some, something happened. Mm. I mean, God changed my mm. life and uh, made me to be the way I am today. Amen. And like what I wanted to share with us today, we are not saying that it's okay or yes. Fijian living is bad. I mean, everybody has got their own culture. Mm. But the choice is yours. You can still, it's, it doesn't mean like for you, like what Auntie Pedi is saying, for you to do what they do, it sort of like cut you off. For your family, no. no. You're still very much part of your family. But these are the little things that you can change in the house that can benefit you. Mm. Uh, the little money that you can save that can benefit you. Like for me, I have, like what I said, I have grandchildren and then I have my grandchildren's uh, friend. Uh, not my grandchildren's friend, my grandson. Only mm. one 18 year old is the one that I, you know, mm. yeah. I look after him since birth and he's been home with me. He's more like the youngest of my child. And he brings his friend. And now, we were talking about the university today. Mm -hmm. uh, we started off this morning just having this uni talk because her daughter is all the way in Sydney, also studying. Uh, and uh, when we were talking about, you know, with yeah. uh, Joshua, so every now and then, after we have our serious talk, mm -hmm. then he'll pop into the room and said, um, Nena, you know the things we discuss? Um, what about Carlos uh, and Junior? I said, look, wait. Right now, I have you. After you, good. See, these two, they have their own parents. And you, I have the only one looking after you. But you can't change that, yes, you know? Like, yes. so, so now, I am looking for a place that they can, the whole three of them can go. Well, I'm praying that there will be a place the whole three of them can go. And I'm having faith yes, that that can yes. happen. Um, so for me, the little money that I can mm. save. Yes. So. I'm the kind of person that walks around with my wallet. It's empty. The it's same empty. My, Mr. Ali, don't yeah. believe me to take money. <laughs> For me, I, I don't trust myself to have money. Because I, we buy, Yes, you know? I yeah. keep it in the uh, mm. bank and, um, <laughs> and I take the coins with me. And sometimes, like, when they're standing yeah. for me to come to the coins, count the coins and then they get so impatient because they know fully well I have the money, but I'm counting the coins. And, and they'll just give up. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Um, I don't need it. I said, no, I can give you, but I'll give you the coins. And, uh, and I have a, like a coin canister in my office that all the change I'll put there. And then I'll call out to, uh, to the ladies when they go to the bank. Uh, taxi, because I keep the coins there for their taxi, you know, to do the errands. <laughs> the taxi man, and most of the time I open it, it's empty. Um, because uh, my children knows the, the bottle at the back, and that's where I keep all the coins. So little things, you yes, know, yes. little things. To me, if I look at a 10 cents and find a 10 cents, I'll pick mm. it up. Because that 10 cents add up to a dollar, and that dollar add up to 10 dollars, mm. and that 10 dollars add up to 100, and that 100 add up to 1,000, mm. and it keeps on going. So if you look at the 10 cents, don't just look at the 10 cents, don't look at the 5 mm. cents. I look at that, it's the beginning of more money to come if that add up. Mm. So if I find this, find that, find that, I'll keep it. And it helps me with it my really thinking. It really helps. Yeah. It helps. So would you like to share any uh, other thing that can help us eat okay? Um, you know, to, to better the way that we're doing things at home? So I want to some some. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe now, you can learn to say no. 
rather than a pocket, what's in a pocket, yeah. that's what they want for us to be every time to go on yeah. that line. Eh? Imagine you can save all that money. What I can do, so I'm going to a global conference. Yeah. Eh? I was uh, talking to our SP, Satakala. I was we having a meeting one day, and I said, the SP, but then Mr. Ali, he was there, he only see the thing and all in the comms. You know, like Kento Lakutungo, the main priority to go and listen to the word of God. Yeah. And then Meto Lakuli Ronga than a kakete the lakwe wana was nikalu. But Kento sa lakutungo n to priority what we're gonna eat for that seven days. So I offer my uh, thing that uh, it's better you buy your own. Nakaga kuna kutanga no misulu, you ko laku sarangai you ko as a woman buy your sun bell, buy your noodles, buy uh biscuit, kuna basanka. Like, uh, so we in English we're doing that. You buy your own groceries for your seven days, calculate with your children, no more family, yes, I'm gonna pass on the kim. Either noodles, we tin fish. And then we just need a hot water. Yes, urn. we're gonna take the kettle and the urn and the pot. Yes, oh, that's yeah. good. It's like you learn. Because when you learn, you learn how to buy. Imagine seven days. Who can do that? Toa, kanatongo, and thanks that it's going to be liquid fasting. Yeah. So we can eat in the afternoon. Yes, only one meal yeah. a day. So it's very easy. Yeah. And if you're gonna think that you're gonna buy this, take this, yeah. Sa sangan yang kami kelakuli barang atau apa sih? Jadi kita no mau main. Anak lagi afternoon, aku nak go and cook sarang my chicken and all. That's what we're gonna do. Me, I'm going. We go, I'm going to take my noodles, my my bucket of biscuit and all that, and I just take it eh, to help the zone to and all. So we happy in that. Eh? Yeah. Well, that's a very good uh -huh. idea. So that's what I think we're going to do. You should do. share it in the leaders' the training <laughs> to give insight yeah. to to us. It okay mm -hmm. because it's like we look forward to the of food. Yes, yeah. Oh, ching, guys, sangan ni oda na ba sa kasi ni barong oda na buno ni kasli. Yes, uh, it's yeah. not uh, practical. Yes. Yeah. So, Mr. Ali, that's what he was talking about. It, and I said, yeah, that's a good idea. So I went to her meeting and I asked SP and it was agreed. So we, in English, we're going to buy our own noodles, sunbell, and the biscuit. That's it. Yeah. I yeah. like uh, that. I like that. Rather than cooking. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, it's... Uh, and then they have these noodles, the cup yes. noodles. They cup noodles. 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 I buy a lot of cup noodles and I buy it in bulk from Costa yes. because sell it in cutters, right. the pot and the indomie, and it's quite tasty. Yeah. And uh, I fill up the cupboard with it, even up the lake here, my two year old. It's very easy. I, she knows mm -hmm. the cupboard. She'll come and pull up the drum. I want to eat noodles, you know? And then she'll say, before she eats it dry, and now she'll say, I want to eat a little soup. So everybody at home, yes. they eat noodles. Yes. And uh, so I did that this morning and boiled the egg. Mm -hmm. As do the egg slicer, slide it, uh, slice it up, and a uh, big bowl with the uh, noodles. With what I told you, look, this is what you're going mm -hmm. to have. So you add the water the way you want it, and I'll give you the egg slicer, and I'm doing yes. the egg. Yeah. And he does it. So and four eggs he sliced, yeah. put it into his noodles, Very easy. hearty meal. Yeah. Very easy. Yeah. And even if you want to have a cup of noodles with egg, you just boil it water and you so by a nylock. Yeah. And then you put it in your noodles. You can put it in your noodles. Ya, kau tu mungkin dah na, maka, maka kita sabar rong cengang, sabar cengang kasih. Macam mana? 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 Well, we are sharing with us this morning for the ladies on the little things. And I believe most of the things at home, it's a way that we can manage our family. And uh, when we are good and we can manage well, it's amazing. Uh, the change you can make at home and the little things you can do at home. And I was sharing with her this morning. Uh, it's been a while. I haven't been to a secondhand shop. But 
last week, one of the days, when I walked past the second shop, I used to go to Nakas for certain things. And I walked past right at the corner where the steps go down. I used to see this velo city. And every time I walked past, it's always closed. But the other day, when I came, it was open. So I said to myself, I'll go in. And I walked in. And, and I know some of the people in there, they say, oh, Randini, Randini. Mm. And you know, they might be thinking, OK, Randini is in the second hand shop. And uh, well, it was, I, I, I enjoyed going to mm. second hand shop. And you know what? I find little things. You know that family sign? Mm. I got that for $2. And this frame that has nice writing. And I got that for $3. And uh, what else did I get? Yeah, there's a light thing on the heart there. Mm. I bought little things. And even I, I managed to find some little toys. Uh, for my uh, uh, granddaughter. Um, so all I needed was to put in the battery. And they're mm. good quality ones. Uh, you know, some for $3, some for... And Value City has got quite a good range. Oh, yes. So when I got that, and uh, to the extent, because I was, there was the frame, still new frame, and I like the wordings, mm. and it was behind the cage. So when I look and I said, are you selling that or is it... And then she said, hey, we are selling. I said, can I take that? So I took that on. And there was this uh, shelving of everything, <laughs> listen to this. And I was taking out the things. I was making the things into the basket. And there was this nice thing. And all, in my mind, I was thinking, man, this will really look nice on top of the fridge. I was thinking that. Or because I was thinking this show, the little things that we can, yes, you know, yes. change it over. And I took out this thing. It's really nice. Like it's got a, and, and it's a, you know, fake one, a branch. It's beautiful. Like you look at it, you think it's an autumn tree, you know. Uh, like 